Rahman Rahim. Now we will be doing questions on page 247. The subject is angles at a point. We are discussing angles at a point. So there is a question in page 247. Part A is like this. There is a diagram. But they are saying find the unknown marked angles. Explain your answers. We need to find unknown. It is like this. Okay, so this one is 56, this one is Y and this one is like L. So we need to find value of Y. So the very first point is if there is an angle like L, so we know that it is of 90 degree. Now it is easy for us because it is forming a one circle on a point. So sum of the angle is equal to 360. So we can say Y plus 90 plus 560 is, plus 56 is equal to 360 okay then y plus we add these two it becomes 146 is equal to 360 so y is equal to it goes to other side it will be subtracted 360 minus 146 214 so y is equal to 214 this is the answer for part 1 then we will be moving to other parts. Part B says it is like this straight line like this and this okay. This is 125 angle 125. This one is 119 and this one is B. It's also very easy because it is forming a circle on a point. So this is angles at a point. So sum of these angles equal to 360 b plus 119 plus 125 is equal to 360 we add these two it becomes b plus 244 is equal to 360 so we need b so 244 will go to other side it will be subtracted it becomes 360 minus 244 116 so the value of b is 116 we now move to the c part we have another diagram in c part uh, which is like this this one is z this is 75 this is 48 and this one is 87 so this is also angles at a point so we know that angles at a point is equal to 360 the sum this is a complete circle if we start from here we go like this and we come here so it is a complete circle so we know that z plus 75 plus 48 plus 87 is equal to 360 so z plus we add these three 75 plus 48 plus 87 it becomes 210 so we need z so it will be subtracted 360 minus 210 360 minus 210 it becomes 150 so this z is 150 now we will be doing the last part which is D. These are very easy so we are doing quickly. D we have another diagram like this. So this is C, this is D, this is E, this is A. This one is 135 and this is 85. This is 110 and this is unknown this one. This is point B. So they are saying E B C. We need to find the angle E B C. Which one is E B C? E B C means we need to know this angle. Let's suppose 
its name is x okay so we know that again this is angles at a point so that this is complete circle it is equal to 360 so if we add all the angles like x plus 110 plus 135 plus 85 it is equal to 360 so we need to add these three 110 135 and 85 330 so x plus 330 is equal to 360 so we need x 330 will be moving to other side minus 330 becomes 30 so x is equal to 30 and this is our answer